Poirier is six years his senior. The rest is nearly identical. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And now it is All right, ready for live action here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in the fight capital of the world. Kick lands for there. And he connects there. It looks like he's injured. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Oh, we caught him with that right hand. Inside leg kick. Really missed with that right hand. Lands a kick to the leg. Check that one. Doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent down, and largely succeeding. Oh, good series of strikes here, Joe. He continues to land punches in bunches. Overhand left, swing and a miss. Cerrone gets hit with a kick. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Cerrone. That one hurt. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Those punches are very hard. One-two punch by Cowboy Cerrone. He's got the plum here. Just misses with the jab there. Tags him. Beautiful right leg kick there. Well, the kick lands to the head there, Joe, but I gotta say, he moved right into it. So let's see if he can make the adjustments, try to circle out, and at the very least, get that guard up. Not a good look for him here. Nice knee to the body by Cowboy Cerrone. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice knee landed there by Cowboy Cerrone. And there comes the separation now. Oh, nice knee there to the body by Cerrone. Glancing right hand upstairs. Nice knee to the midsection there. Another punch to the head. Maya gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Blocks the shot. Oh. Excellent exchange there. Oh. Nailed him with that right hand. Big knee to the body. Huge elbow to the head. What an end to round one. There's a nice leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Brittany Palmer doing fine work, as usual. Ready? Ready? All right, round two. Starting off this round, you gotta think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's gonna wanna move and avoid taking damage early. 
Damian Maya is one of the very best Brazilian jiu-jitsu artists to ever compete in MMA. He is a multiple-time world champion and amongst the elite of the elite when it comes to jiu-jitsu. Pretty strong leg kick there, Joe, by Maya. Caught him with a punch. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Right hand upstairs. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Back and forth we go. Cerrone gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Huge oh, left shot. Oh, huge right hand. He's trying to stay up. Try to establish that jab. Oh. Cerrone gets the tie clinch here. This is a very good spot for him, Joe. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. Whoa! He's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. Oh! Nice knee there. Cerrone's lower jaw now, Joe, started to show some signs of swelling. Maya gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. Snapping off that jab. And he lands a knee. Look to the head there by my oh, man. He got tagged. This fight is dangerously close to being seen. He's got him right here. Cerrone gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. This is single attempts. Well, Joe, he seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. Big shot. Posture's up. He's got full guard here. He's got the triangle. And he switches to the arm bar, rolls him over on his back. And he's out. Wow, that arm was in deep. Side control. Round Finish. finished. Hey, stop. So there is the horn, and how about the appreciation from the masses in attendance tonight? Knockdowns on both sides. You don't see that every day. Really one of the better rounds we've seen here tonight. Here's a perfectly placed kick that results in a knockdown. And here's a devastating punch that results in a knockdown. Thank you very much, Ariane. Celeste is here. Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. He's being creative in there. Blocks the shot, working out of that southpaw stance. Maya gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head oh, off the center big line. Shot. Whoa! This could be it right here. There's a nice inside leg kick. How about that chin? Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Oh, he might be out. He is stumbling. Cerrone goes for the clinch here, Joe. He was stunned a moment ago. Let's see if the clinch now gives him the proper time to recover. Oh! Man. He 
he's definitely rocked. Under three minutes to go in our third round. He's looking to take the back. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. And he's back in the guard. He's trying to get the triangle. Beautiful transition. He switched from the triangle to the arm bar. Very nice. And he's free. That was a deep arm bar. Look at this. Nicely done. Into side control. Now, this is what he should have done earlier. Maya gets up and decides to take this fight back to its feet, despite having a seemingly dominant position on the ground. Cerrone's bruise on that thigh certainly bears watching. That looks about as bad as it could. He's gonna have fun walking him off. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Looking for a triangle, throws one leg over the shoulder. He switches to the arm bar. And he gets out of it. Deep arm bar, beautiful escape. Side control. Posture's up here and now going the body with that big strike. Nicely done by Maya. He's now working from half guard. Now he's moved back into full guard. Looking for the triangle here. Trying to lock it up. Oh, and he's out. He's in the half guard now. Oh, elbow to the head. Time winding down. Final seconds of the fight. Oh, he's got a triangle. All right, so this one will go to a decision. Should be a clear winner here tonight. He was the dominant fighter, really, from the opening horn to the closing one. We await the judges' scorecards, but he should get his hand raised here tonight. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30-27, 9-28, and 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Damian Maia! All right, so another big win for the Brazilian submission machine, Damian Maia tonight. You know, fighting that guy must make for an absolutely